Hi pilots and welcome to another product pyrep video from Sporties. Today we are talking about carbon monoxide detectors, specifically the Toxin 4. This is our top pick for the best aviation carbon monoxide detector. Let's talk about why CO detectors are important and why we like this one. So we're flying along today in a Cirrus SR22. We're at 6,500 feet and it's springtime, so it's 70 degrees on the ground, but it's pretty chilly up here at altitude, so like most of you, we've got the heater cracked just a little bit. But that means carbon monoxide is a potential threat today because like almost all light aircraft, the heating system in this Cirrus uses a shroud around the exhaust system to take some of that warm air that's heated by the engine and the exhaust and direct that warm air into the cabin. That works great as long as everything is sealed up nice and tight. If you get a crack in your muffler or in the exhaust system, you can get exhaust gas leak into that heated air and that can lead to carbon monoxide poisoning. That's a big deal because CO is odorless, it's tasteless, you don't really know it's in the cabin, but it can incapacitate a pilot and you don't even know it's happening to you. So we definitely want to guard against CO poisoning. I'm a big believer in this because I was saved by a CO detector a few years ago. I was flying in a helicopter, didn't notice anything wrong, but my CO detector started going off as soon as we took off. Going very high level, over 200 parts per million, the light was flashing, and I tried to ignore it at first. Well, I finally got the hint, landed, and uh, I was shocked to find when the mechanics inspected the exhaust system, about a quarter size hole in the muffler. So exhaust gas was getting pumped right into the cabin. I am quite sure that I am here today because of that CO detector. So I'm a big believer in them, but they're not all created equal. So let me tell you why I think the new Toxin 4 is the best answer for pilots. The Toxin 4 replaces the original Toxin, which we've sold for years. And this is a great performer, but there are a couple things about it we didn't love. Uh, number one, it was really hard to change the batteries. You literally had to get a screwdriver and unscrew the whole case to change the battery. And it was kind of a weird camera battery as well. With the new Toxin 4, much easier. You simply open up the back. You can use a, a coin or your finger, unscrew the back, and it's got two AAA batteries. So you can change it much easier, much quicker, no tools required, and it takes those regular AAA batteries so you don't have to go find some strange one. Battery life is also excellent. Toxin says it's 9,000 hours of normal use. That's over a year of continuous use. For most pilots who aren't going to be using it 24-7, you're gonna get well over a year, probably more like two or three years on battery, even if you forget to turn it off. So that's a nice upgrade with the battery pack. The other thing we like is just the overall size and durability. The Toxin the original one wasn't exactly big, but the new Toxin 4 is smaller by a decent amount. It's also more rugged. It's got this nice uh, rubberized case on it. So if you drop it on a corner, it just bounces on the ramp. There's no problem, no damage. In fact, it's IP67 rated. That means it's fully waterproof and dustproof. So this is a really tough, uh, durable product. It's going to last the life of, uh, of your, your airplane, probably. The reason we like Toxin in general is that there are three alerting modes. So you may not look at a CO detector and notice there's something wrong, especially if you're starting to become incapacitated. The Toxin really solves that. It has three alert modes. It has a beeping sound that is very loud on high. You will hear it, even in a noisy airplane like this Cirrus. But it's also got a vibrating alert. and also has a red flashing alert up here. So uh, it's going to get your attention in the airplane, which is not something you can say for a lot of household CO detectors. It also has the screen, so you can see real time what the carbon monoxide level is. So if you hear an alert, you can look at it and see the parts per million. I also like on the new Toxin 4, there's a little heartbeat there that flashes a little heart icon. That lets you know that the system is working and is, uh, is sensing, so you, it's not just frozen up. There are all kinds of options and settings with the Toxin. You can look at a time-weighted average called TWA. You can look at a short-term exposure limit, STEL. You can look at all kinds of things on here. And that's good for a real power user, but honestly, for most pilots, the answer is turn it on and put it in view uh, of yourself. It comes with this nice alligator clip on the back, so it can clip to almost anything. A lot of people clip it onto a seatbelt, so you can feel that vibrating alert. If you don't want to do that, it comes with a nice 3M, uh, that locking tape, like Velcro, really rugged system. I like to do that and just mount it uh, close to the avionics in the airplane, so it's in my regular scan. 
So turn it on, mount it, and you're done. If you hear a beep, uh, that's a problem. You want to do something about it. There's really no regular testing. It does a self-test as it starts up. You can calibrate it if you'd like over time, doing a clean air test that takes just a few seconds. So the question is, how much is too much? Well, the Toxin 4 comes preset with two alerts. It'll give you a first alert at 25 parts per million and then a warning at 50 parts per million. Uh, 25 parts per million is possible. You could get that on the ground. Occasionally, if you're taxiing with the window open and you have a tailwind, you can get a little bit of exhaust gas blown into the cabin. It doesn't take much to get to 25, but definitely if you see 50, something is wrong and you need to be taking action. Turn off the heat, get some fresh air, open the window if you can, land, and get your exhaust system inspected. The Toxin 4 is available for under $200 and is available at sporties.com. Whatever you do, we encourage you to fly with the carbon monoxide detector. They really are life-saving. Uh, whichever option you use, whether it's a Lightspeed Delta Zulu headset has one built in, a four-flight Century ADS-B receiver has one built in, or this nice, dedicated, rugged one from Toxin, fly with the CO detector anytime the heat is on. For more information, visit sporties.com and check us out for another product pirate video from Sporties.